Hey guys, it's Carrie, your friendly local makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today our experiments are going to be talking about germs, but we don't want to use actual germs in our experiments, so we're going to substitute in glitter. And as everybody knows, whether you're the one that used glitter or you were just the unlucky soul who sat down at the table after somebody else used glitter, you'll be finding it on your shoes, sometimes on your hands or in your hair, for days afterwards. Got a lot in common with germs, actually. We're also going to be using just some regular blue dish soap. So let's go to the experiments. So just by being around other people in spaces that other people use, you're going to get exposed to germs. And whether they're your germs because you sneezed, or they are germs from sitting down at somebody else's desk or using their pencil, they're everywhere. And I can try to kind of scrape them off, which doesn't really work. I can put the water on, which gets some of them, but not all of them. But here's the thing. If I add a little bit of soap, and then I get that lather going, we start to see that those germs stop sticking to me. And once I put the water on, they pretty much rinse right off. And I am left with very clean hands. Now, why is that? Just using water does rinse things away but it doesn't get everything like we just saw. But when you use soap, you actually get a chemical change. When you use soap and water, rub them together, two types of molecules are created. You've got hydrophobic molecules and hydrophilic molecules. The hydrophobic molecules actually latch on to the germs or the dirt or the glitter, and the hydrophilic molecules mix with the water to make suds and lather. And when you have both hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecules working together, they will actually grab all of the dirt and germs and remove them from your hands. So it actually gets rid of them. And that's why you hear a lot of your parents, teachers, and even librarians say things like, did you wash your hands? We've got one more experiment for you today, and it's going to talk a little bit about surface tension. Let's go take a look. This experiment looks at a different chemical change using water and soap and surface tension. Surface tension causes water molecules at the top to cling together. So when we add glitter to the top of this, it'll float right on the top. Then I'm going to put some soap on my finger and adding the soap is going to change the surface tension again and the water molecules naturally want to stay together. So when I dip my finger in, they all pull away from the middle, taking the glitter with them. Thanks for sticking with us to join about hydrophilic and hydrophobic molecules and how they can help keep you safe from germs. Hope to see you back next time for another science short.